Joining us this morning, UBS Managing Director, Senior Retail and Specialty Soft Lines Analyst, Jay Soul. Jay, it's great to have you back. Fascinating note, uh, which we talked about yesterday, you've done some survey work basically looking at holiday spending intentions, and I wonder if you think we're getting to a point now where the consumer is starting to make some tougher choices. Well, Carl, thanks for having me on the show, and you're absolutely right. You know, the consumer in our survey work is telling us they feel a lot less optimistic about how much they want to spend this holiday season. Um, in July, they were relatively positive. In September, that, that positive attitude went away. And people are now getting really cautious about spending. They're cautious about spending overall, not just on holiday, but really over the next three months. Talk just a bit about the spread between the respondents who say they're going to spend more versus less. Yeah, so one of the questions we ask in the survey is, you know, do you plan on spending more or less um, on Christmas gifts this year? And in July, we got some answers. And in September, we got more answers. And typically, you know, the amount of people who say they're going to spend more doesn't change from September, from July to September. But this year, we saw a big jump in the percentage of people who said they're going to spend less and really very little change in the percentage of people who say they're going to spend more. And that that sort of sequential change, that change from July to September is really notable to us. That says that sentiment for consumer spending on apparel, footwear and accessories is really falling. So then how do you determine winners and losers in that kind of environment? Well, Sarah, I think it's going to be tough overall. You know, for we have a bearish call overall on the soft line space, and that's because we think if consumers are pulling back and feeling like they have to make choices in their budget, one of the main things they're going to pull away from is apparel, footwear, and accessories. That's what the data tells us. And so it's not going to be great for anybody, but there are some companies that have been taking share that have great momentum, uh, like Deckers, which is the owner of the Hoka brand for sneakers, On Holdings, uh, that's on sneakers as well, um, and also companies like Ralph Lauren. Yeah, we've seen some some pretty constructive comments on, on RL in particular lately. Some of that's been around cleaner inventories, margin upside, and I think what cotton has done, right, over the last, say, year and a half? Well, Carl, that's right. You know, there's a lot of nice cost savings that are going to be helping Ralph Lauren's margins because cotton costs are down, freight costs have fallen. Um, but at the same time, you know, Ralph Lauren is a company that's really been through a lot of changes over the past 10 years. And really, the work the company has done to reposition itself for today's consumer environment you know, being in places where consumers want to spend with the right kind of products and a brand that's regained momentum is really something that the market isn't quite kind of paying attention to. And I think it really we're at a point now where the company's going to start to show a lot of growth, surprising growth, not just in the U.S., but really all over the world. And that's going to that's what we think is going to make the stock go up. They've really done a great job and, and they're on the right track. But everybody, you know, you have a pretty wide range of retail in your coverage universe from the department stores to the to the more higher income brands like that tapestry would have to the dollar stores. Are you saying universally everybody's going to weaken here? High end, low end categories? Well, Sarah, what's interesting about what the survey data shows is that it's not just lower income consumers who are feeling the impact of inflation and sort of feeling the impact of having to start to repay their student loans. Uh, what we're seeing is really all consumers of all demographic types are starting to say, hey, we're feeling a little bit less good about our, our financial situation and about consumer and about how much we want to spend over the next three months and into holidays. So it's really not just focused on one group of consumers or one group of stocks. It's really across the board. Jay, fascinating. And we're going to find out pretty quickly here how this shakes out as we get closer to holiday. Thanks for the time.